Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'd like to welcome you to the uh, presentation of Profiol Technologies. My name is Andre Hildebrandt, and I'm the president and general manager of the Profiol Technologies in the US. I started with Profiol in 1998 as a student there um, studying mechanical engineering. And after I finished my studies, I went um, and worked for Profirol in the design department, designing machines, and eventually moved over to the sales department, um, taking care of our customers. After I finished um, that, I got the opportunity to move to the US. And since uh, 2006, I'm over here leading Profirol USA um, to uh, support our customers over here. So in today's presentation, I'd like to present innovative cold forming technologies in the field of thread profile rolling, spline rolling, and ring rolling. Um, special thanks to the uh, German Machine Tool Association to making that event happen. Uh, I think it's a good possibility to reach um, our customers over here and, and worldwide, of course. So without uh, further ado, let's get started. So Profirol is located in the city of Bad Lüben. It's um, a small little city about 30 minutes northeast of Leipzig, about two hours south of Berlin. Um, we started back in 1943, uh, back in that small yellow building you see in the upper left corner, um, where the uh, owners, uh, Mr. Plagemann and Mr. Rehm Höhner, founded um, the, uh, the company. Um, doing thread rolling machines for um, the German and you know automotive military market back then. Um, we moved there in the, in, in the Second World War away from Berlin um, to get a little bit to the countryside to be you know, more protected in a way. Uh, the company nowadays has about 370 employees and uh, last year's turnover was about 44 million euros. We are located with sales and representatives offices worldwide. As you can see on that picture here, we have own offices in major markets like Japan and China and Turkey, as well as in some European countries. Over here in the US, we have our office in Wixon, Michigan, uh, where we take care of our North American customers. I mentioned already we started in that little building here you can see on the screen back in 1943 when we made those small little thread rolling machines you can see that picture down there in the uh, left corner um, showing one of those machines back then and um, the company name was uh, bearing the, uh, the initials of the founders i mentioned earlier mr plagemann and mr Wehm Hörner, so the, the letters p and w so we called ourselves pv uh, but P and W also stands for the German Profil Walzen, Profile Rolling, so we can use it in, in many ways. Eventually, in 1991, the brand name Profirol, which stands for Professional Rolling, was uh, developed and introduced. And then in 2000, we used that to um, um, call the, com the total company, um, we call it now Profirol Technologies. Um, and um, again, it's in the city of Bad Duben. Um, that's um, quite important because some of our customers actually remember us as Bad Duben and even call our machines Bad Duben machines. The company works based on the slogan machine die and process from one source. That's, that's pretty important for us because we like to be part of a customer's project from the very beginning. Um, we uh, would like to see a part coming in, we would like to evaluate, we'd like to develop the process um, and the tools. We would like to then put it on the machine and develop a turnkey solution, supply the customer with the machine, the die, and that develop process. And as you can see on that picture here, um, we do that for thread and profile rolling, we do that for ring rolling, one of our departments, and then the ring, the rolling die technology is pretty much doing the, uh, the dies for both of those different departments, thread and profiles, as well as rings. So if you look at uh, um, some of our applications, uh, which I've shown here, applications around an automobile, you can see various different parts. Um, we have camshafts, we have gear shafts, we have steering racks, worms, pinions, 
small little gears, bigger gears, different materials, steel, powder metal. Um, so um, everything which has a symmetrical shape somehow has, has a profile can be can be rolled. Um, and then in addition to that, on, on top here, you can see those wings I was mentioning. Um, typical applications would be bearing raises or shifter sleeves, as well as CV cages. So in today's presentation, I'd like to uh, show you uh, innovative machine solutions, intelligent process features, and tool developments we did in that field of uh, profile rolling. Um, and um, it's important to, to get to know some of those features since they will help you as our customers to uh, successfully um, work on those applications um, you, you are profiling. So one of our um, innovative machines we call Rolex HP. Rolex stands for Rolling External Profiles in HP in high precision. Um, that machine is a, has a six, uh, six axis CNC controlled. It's a full electric machine, no hydraulic. Um, it's, everything is controlled electronically. Um, we developed that machine for spline rolling applications. And with the use of circular dies, we are able to especially roll hollow shafts. And um, we are also able to uh, in, uh, roll various different profiles in one clamping on one machine. And um, to show you how such a machine works, I have a little video which I will show in the next, next presentation. What's important to know is that the rolling method we use on that machine um, you can see in the middle here, is using, as I mentioned, the circular dies. With those circular dies, we are not limited um, in any way. We have an, an unlimited uh, rolling way because the, uh, the profile on those circular dies is identical all around. So therefore, we can rotate those dies as long as we need them while we penetrate the part and form the profile. So that penetration is CNC controlled, the rotation, of the tools is CNC controlled, the positioning of the of the tool is CNC controlled, and we even accelerate the tool. Uh, I'm sorry, we accelerate the workpiece so that it has the same surface speed as the tool when we roll that profile. So if you look at some uh, different um, methods in the market, you can see on on the uh, lower um, the pictures there the uh, the direct die uh, principle where within one stroke of a rack die, you form a profile. And with that, you're fixed in length and you're fixed in the stroke because it's built into the tool. So it's much more uh, limited. Um, and especially if you have to make small adjustments in the process, it's, it's quite difficult uh, to set it up and to adjust the machine. So therefore, uh, with the CNC technology we offer for those um, machines, you have much more flexibility and much more input to get um, um, a high quality part. So as I mentioned here, you can see that uh, little video where we have a fully automated Rolex HP machine where a part is being loaded with a handling into the machine. It's then being clamped between centers in our so-called center rolling device. Um, it then will be moved into the air working area where the tools are, our circular rolling dies are sitting on those uh, two little uh, spindles here. And then the, the, uh, the workpiece shuttle, the center rolling device, moves the part to the dedicated rolling die where then the profile is being rolled. After all of those um, profiles have been rolled, the part moves out to the um, loading and unloading location and then can be exchanged with the, with the handling again. Um, what, the, um, uh, you, what you have seen earlier was what we call an in-feed rolling process where the profile is as wide as the tool. So within um, that one process that that spline is being rolled over the whole length of the tool. We also have developed something called through feed rolling operation, what you can see here in that video. Uh, and in this case, we generate the length of the profile by pushing the part through rotating dies. And as you can see there, it's quite fast process. We can do it really accurate. 
um, and with a simple regular machine with regular tools you can generate pretty much any length of a profile by just pushing it through the dice and one important key feature here is that this is working especially good for hollow parts because the rolling pressure we apply for that process is really minimal and therefore there's almost no deformation to the bore and therefore it's perfect for hollow parts. Um, another machine I'd like to introduce is our PR15HP. It's a profile rolling machine with 15 tons of rolling force, also high precision. Um, it's also an all-electric machine. It's a little smaller, has only a three axis, um, and we use it especially for warm, small little neural sensations. Um, and it's also good for finished burnishing applications, which we usually combine with uh, our partner Leistritz doing a whirling operation for worms and then profirol um, burnishing those worms to get a really high end surface. And in that little video here, which you see now, you can um, you get a pretty good feeling how that process works. So we have again a fully automated machine where a pick and place handling is is putting those parts between dies again clamped between centers, and then they just move forward. And with a small little um, process, only a couple seconds long, um, we burnish that profile. Um, in this case here, we even have um, installed a little pre-orientation station to make sure that when the part is being loaded into the machine, it's in the right location so that the dies fit in and we can burnish in, 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 in a good and uh, uh, final, uh, final way. We also have some bigger machines for those applications called um, 2PR30 HP machines. Uh, 30 in this way, in this case stands for 30 tons and the two stands for two slides, means the part stays centered and the two dies which are sitting on slides are moving towards the part and penetrate the material rolling the profile. Um, this is again a fully electric machine. Um, we can use it for in-feed and through-feed rolling and, and nowadays it's mostly used for uh, ball screw applications where long bars up to 12 feet are being rolled. Um, typically other applications would be um, um, small little spindles for um, uh, 3D printers, for example, or steering racks for steering applications. Um, I'd like to introduce also our profile burnishing PB200 machine, which we developed for a customer where with a, a 3 tool concept, as you can see in that picture here, a profile, a pre-machined profile can be approached, can be skived, is being burnished, and the surface is being improved with that process. So what we do here, if you look at those results here, before and after rolling, or before and after burnishing, we have a relatively rough surface with a bearing ratio only about 25%. And then after the rolling process, we increase that bearing ratio to about 65, 66, 70 percent. And with that, we generate a gear which has less noise, which has a smoother run, um, which has, of course, a higher uh, contact between the ring and the pinions. And um, one big advantage there is as well, since you have that additional burnishing operation, uh, the pre-cut process uh, where you typically have your skiving tool or your approaching bar can run parts longer than before so you don't have to worry about the uh, the, the surface finish anymore um, you can cut more parts because you have that additional burnishing process which will then take care of finishing those parts and improving those results so with that, I move like to move over to intelligent process features we developed for our machines, for our technology, um, which will help you as a customer, as a user, to work with our machines and work with our processes. And first, I'd like to mention the um, data matrix code we will put on our rolling dice. Um, so with a little scanner, once you have set up that 
um, tool in the machine. You can scan that barcode and the machine will then get process features um, from that scanning process which, need, which are needed to um, to roll those roll those parts. So process features like penetration rates, speeds, sizes of tools, so the machine knows exactly um, uh, how much penetration is necessary. Um, and with that, you also, of course, uh, will um, uh, use um, um, the um, the data bank, which is in the machine, to monitor to live. Um, and will give you a pretty good feedback about that two life. And um, even when you you know change back and forth, the machine is able to go back and monitor that two life for that particular tool. Um, really important feature we developed is the hardness compensation. Um, in nowadays uh, manufacturing process, um, the incoming material is typically widespread is not as uniform as you might like and therefore you have different different hardnesses coming into the machine um, and instead of you know um, differentiating them instead of separating them um, or adjusting the machine part to part we have now that automatic feature which is sensing the hardness of the part during the rolling process and then makes live adjustment while rolling the profile making sure that the size of the spline, the size of the profile is according to specifications. So if you have, for example, a harder part, then the machine will sense that and will penetrate a little bit more. And if you have a softer part, then the penetration rate will not be as big as before, but the, uh, the size of each of those parts is identical part to part. We also compensate for different um, temperatures around the machine. So we have sensors in the machine sensing the uh, temperature of the machine as well as, as, well as uh, the surroundings. And, and based on that temperature change, um, small adjustments are being made to the uh, um, process. Uh, so if you have, for example, you know, colder temperature in the, in, the, in the warehouse or in the, in, the, in the manufacturing area in the morning, and then um, it's a little warmer in the afternoon, the machine will adjust automatically so that the size of the part is accurate in the morning as well as in the afternoon. I mentioned already that we have data banks in the machine which we use to analyze um, the, our processes. Um, process features which we typically use are rolling force, rolling torque, um, the, uh, the uh, penetration rate, the penetration location, and all of those data are also being collected and can be used for either our um, analysis as well as for your analysis, giving you a quality parameter um, to judge um, if that part is a good or a bad part. And we work together with um, the, uh, the uh, um, German Machine Tools uh, Association to uh, work on a, gen a standardized feature to analyze those data. So we are part of that group um, to, to move to the future, giving you all the information. So last but not least, I'd like to introduce um, our tool department, um, which again is making tools for our machines as well as for competitor machines. Um, we do tools for thread and profile applications. We do tools for spline rolling applications as well as for ring rolling applications, as I mentioned earlier. On that slide here, you can see the different types, various different types, um, circular, incremental dies, flat dies, ring and segment dies, um, as well as rack dies for spline applications. And we manufacture all of those tools in-house to so have really deep manufacturing. Um, we do the heat treatment in-house, we use certified material suppliers only, and then um, do again the complete manufacturing in heat treatment in-house. Um, as you can see here, there's a little view into our heat treatment job. And um, with that capability, we also have developed special uh, treat, heat treatment um, processes. Um, one you can see here, we call it a surface treatment, um, where we generate um, a, a hard surface 
to withstand the wear during a rolling process um, and improve the tool life. We call that pro surface black diamond um, because after that surface treatment, the dyes change the color to black and um, it's too hard as a diamond. So um, we see really good improvements with that surface treatment, which is being added after a dye has been completed. So the tooling factory, you have seen that maybe at the beginning when I showed you a few on to our uh, uh, company. One of that section, the tooling shop has been expanded um, lately. Uh, so we added a um, state-of-the-art new tooling shop, which is using um, a lot of um, um, new technology to save energy, to save costs, to um, be good to the environment. Um, and with that new shop here, um, we are very really proud of, you can see that down here, we save a lot of CO2 per year. Um, being really having really a state-of-the-art uh, machine tool shop and in that shop we um, make tools and the tools we make there um, are specialized for each application and these applications again vary can be a thread can be a spline but each application typically also has special features sometimes there is a lead-in chamfer necessary Sometimes there are special ready uh, necessary, and we can incorporate those into those tools. We grind them in, and some of those features you can see here on that screen. We call that PD radius or PD chamfer, where really special design is being ground into the tool to um, improve the, uh, the the lifetime of the part. Uh, especially important for um, aerospace applications, for example, where um, those profiles have to be really accurate. And some other feature you can see here, we call it PT relief, where processes where we have a little bit of an actual movement during, during a rolling process um, are being um, rolled. Those profiles um, need a certain relief in the tool to make sure that the tool as well as the part is not being damaged. And um, as you can see here in that picture, such a die with a relief is, is, is looking like that. Um, quite a complicated die, but we can do all of that in our shop. We have the technology to grind those tools to incorporate those interesting and uh, helpful features for our tools. So again, as I mentioned here in the US, we support our North American customers um, with our own office, Profirol Technologies USA. Uh, we are located in the city of Wixom, Michigan, which is in the, in the suburbs of uh, Detroit. Um, you can see a picture here. We have a, a showroom where we uh, present our machines, where we also do uh, sample parts for our customers, where we uh, store tools and spare parts for our North American customers. You can see uh, the contact details of some important um, personnel. And I'd like you to um, don't hesitate to contact us in case you have any questions. Uh, if you have any any uh, needs, we can support you right here locally from um, from uh, Wixom. So with that, I'd like to thank you for listening. Um, I hope you got a good impression about Profirol and the technology we offer. And with that, I'd like to open it up for questions. If you have any questions, please feel free to type them into the chat box. And then I will, um, of course, try to answer them. And then um, let's see. So while we wait for some questions coming in, um, maybe a couple more uh, interesting um, things to say. Um, so as I mentioned, we'd like to be involved from the very beginning in our um, with our customer in, in the projects they are um, um, in, they are trying to uh, establish. And uh, we 
have a really big development department where 20 engineers um, do nothing but validation of processes and development of processes. We use our machines there to develop those processes, to do sample parts, and uh, even sometimes little um, production support for our customers. And of course, it's machine die in process. So we have the dies there, we have the machines there, we develop the processes for that. And I think that's a really big, important um, feature to know, big, big uh, uh, information to know that you can um, trust us and rely on us if, um, if you have an application like this and can um, get a turnkey solution from us, including the manufacturing of parts. So the, um, the parts we do for our customers, the rolling of those parts, of course, they vary. There are different applications. They have different materials, um, different profiles, different sizes, small, big, long, short. And um, we are, have a really good expertise over the years, yeah, developed um, more than 70 years now. So we can really evaluate those parts those uh, applications inquiries fairly quick we know exactly what we can expect what uh, the customer can expect what kind of tolerances can be achieved what kind of cycle times can be achieved what kind of machinery is necessary to uh, form a profile um, so if you have an inquiry if you have a profile which needs rolling um, send us the print and we will evaluate all of that and you will get a really qualified solution and feedback back from us, um, which gives you everything you need to either quote to your customer or install that process at your place, um, making all necessary decisions based on our feedback. Okay, so there are no more uh, no more questions here in the chat box. Yeah, Mr. Hilburn, exactly. I can also uh, can't see any open questions yet. Um, so yeah, again, then I guess I would like to ha hand it over back to Mr. Bogun. Um, again, uh, thank you for um, joining us today. Um, you have seen the contact data and that whole presentation is shared also on the uh, um, German Machine Tool Association website. So um, feel free to uh, check it out there and contact us if you have any, any questions.